you guys have been connected for a while there. I guess so you've been around for a, a lot of the bigger fights in his career. Um, I guess this one's being made out to be uh, almost the Super Bowl of, of fights that are coming up. I mean, when people have been waiting for it for a while, what's kind of the vibe going on before for a fight like this one? I mean, you know, every, we, we keep everything the same. You know, Floyd's still Floyd. He's still doing what he what he been doing to to stay on top. He's not doing nothing special. He's doing what he been doing. You know, we just looking at it like another fight. You can't get caught up in the hype. You know what I mean? Mhm. Yeah, that, that's you can't get caught up in the hype and lose focus. Right. Floyd Floyd been here before. He been he been at the big dance before. He been at the big dance before he turned professional when he was an amateur at the Olympics representing the, U- the United States. You know what I mean? It, it don't get no bigger than that when you're mm-hmm. fighting for your country, when you got your whole country on your back. Yeah, that's definitely a, a feeling that I'm, I'm sure is, is unlike any other when you, when you have the opportunity to represent the whole country like that. And I know uh, Ford yeah. is definitely, just from his training regimen, one of the hardest working athletes in professional sports, and like you said, he's kind of just doing his uh, his same thing, preparing for this one. Yeah, he, you know, actually, seeing seeing Floyd train when we was kids, man, and seeing him train now, you would think he was still nineteen, twenty years old the way he trained. You know what I mean? He approached it. He approached it the same way. You know, he put in the work. He put in the work. He don't take no shortcuts. He don't have a problem working. So as long as he as long as he do that, you know, I don't see nobody beat him ever. Right. Yeah, I think that going into this one, he's definitely. I, I mean, I'm definitely not expecting Pac to to win. But um, nah. I guess, you know, we we know uh, Floyd kind of reaching the, the final stretch of his career. What's the kind of the vibe going on with that? This is being one of his final fights, possibly. You know, he making he just what he what he did and what he's done and what he's been doing for years is building a brand, a Mayweather promotion brand. So, you know, after boxing, he's still involved with boxing with his own fighters and still making money with his own fighters and his promotion company. And you know, we we take our hat off to, to guys like Bob Aram and Don King and and these guys. But it's it's a new generation now, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. You know, Floyd can relate to the to these younger fighters a little better than a lot of these older promoters, and you know it's something new. So he's just building his brand with the with the promotion company, right? I mean, the, I the, the clothing line, the TMT clothes. You know, he got he got a lot of business things that he's that he's getting involved with. It's a lot of things I can't I can't talk about. But Floyd, Floyd, real smart business man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know he's he's done a lot of things. I think his his promotion team is definitely. Uh, made a way for himself and you know just his record alone is going to allow him to to connect with boxers a lot easier than some of these other promoters that have just you know just been in the business and have never stepped in the ring exactly if you've been around floyd a lot and the boxing climate's kind of he's been at the top of uh, the top ring for uh, a long time i mean the majority of his career he's been the guy to beat or to try and beat really <laughs> exactly um, are, are there any young up and coming fighters that uh, I guess you guys are, are really kind of have your eyes on that, that maybe could I, I guess someone Floyd steps down could be the next guy to carry box? Well, it is one one thing we all know in, in this lifetime we'll never see another Floyd Mayweather. No, you know what I mean. We'll never see another Floyd. But Floyd got a lot of a lot of fighters, you know, <clears throat> that that he's working with. That's mm-hmm. got a lot of talent. Like Badu Jack, he fight he's fighting for a title. I think it's tomorrow. Either today or tomorrow. Is is one of his fighters on his on his stable. You know, he got Jay Leon, he got a young kid named Memphis. The Darius Miller, he's he's a he's a good fighter. And you know you know, Floyd Lil Bro, A B, man. You know, A B to mm-hmm. me is the, the next the next big thing in boxing. Adrian mm-hmm. Rona. Right. Yeah, Bronner definitely. I, I know he he put everybody on notice there for, and you know he he's definitely going a, a long way of building his brand. Exactly. And you know he maturing a lot. You know he had, he had a couple bumps in the road, 
in, the, in his career, but, but one thing that you can't deny is his talent. And, right. And I just think, you know, by him getting a lot of advice from Floyd and, and being up under Floyd, now, don't get me wrong, he is his own man, and he got to where he at by working hard also. But, you know, he, he also learning a lot from Floyd, from being around Floyd. Right. I mean, like you said, uh, he's his own his own fighter and his own boxer and has his own style, of course. But, I mean, Floyd being a, a once-in-a-generation type of fighter, it, it'd almost be crazy not to take any advice that he could get from him. <laughs> you know, and, and this, this is what I don't understand, man, especially about our people. You know, it's like, you know, growing up, what kid, what, I don't know, what how, how old are you? I'm 25. Okay. Well, even in, in your generation, my generation growing up, you know, everybody, every kid who touched the basketball court was sticking it. Every kid who touched the basketball and was on that basketball court when they was a kid was dribbling like Jordan, sticking their tongue out when they slamming and everything, and it was okay. You know, you looked up to Jordan. Mm-hmm. And I just don't I just don't understand how people can, can come down on Bronner and say, oh, he's trying to be like Floyd and this and that. He want to fight like Floyd. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with want to want to be great. And I don't I don't I, I see nothing wrong with it. Oh no, nothing's wrong with that at all. I mean I played football in in high school and college and I I'm from New Orleans so I looked up to Marshall Falk because he came out of New Orleans. Exactly. So I just I, I just don't do, understand I a lot of people to... <clears throat> a lot of people not to cut you off, but you no. know, a lot of people look at that as a problem and I just I just don't understand that. Even with Floyd, Floyd been undefeated in next year to be twenty years. And you mean to tell me people trying to define this man's career off of one fight? You know, he 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 fought everybody they put in front of him. He yeah. asked a simple question five years ago when it was time to fight, when when they started talking about fighting Pacquiao, take the blood test. He had a simple question. If we're going to fight, let's be on the same playing field. And, you know, nobody never wants to talk about that. They always want to talk about, oh, he didn't. He didn't want to fight him for years. He didn't. He dies the fight. But I just look at it like Floyd fought everybody who they put in front of for the past twenty years, nineteen, twenty years. Mm-hmm. He fought everybody they put in front of him. And you cannot let one fight determine this man's whole career. He been on top for twenty years. He been undefeated for almost twenty years. Mm-hmm. So with, with, with that being said. His legacy is already set in stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't I, understand I, how people can say, you know, if a, if a man been undefeated for almost twenty years, how can you how can you say if he have a if he have a tough fight, or oh, he losing it? Well, damn, he he's supposed to he's supposed to you know be be flawless for twenty thirty years. Everybody mm-hmm. get hit. This this boxing game. Right. Everybody get hit, but you're just not used to seeing it. So Floyd get hit a couple times in his last fight. They say, oh, he losing the step. Well, shit, we, we, 20 years later, that's the mm-hmm. best you can come up with? It just, it just irritates me sometimes, man, because I know the work he put in, man. I, I know the work that, that, that Floyd put in, man, and I know how he dedicated his life to the sport of boxing. And right. If he he single handedly carried boxing on his back for a long time, you know, one just like Ali, they're gonna miss him when he's gone. Mm-hmm. They're gonna realize how important he was to the sport, whether you like him or not. And he understands right. I mean, that. He, he understands that everybody not gonna like him, but at the end of the day, you got to respect what he did for boxing. Oh, of course, I think that. Regardless, I, I, like you said, 20 years of undefeated, his legacy is sealed. And I know he made the comments, you know, saying, you know, he's the greatest boxer. And I think arguably he is. I mean, yeah, if you look at his track record, and like you said, he's fought all these guys. And it's not like he was just taking cupcake fights. He's fought every, most of the fighters he's fought were on the top of their game at the time and got in the ring and all lost the same way. Exactly. And one thing about this sport is called boxing. It's not called getting your head beat in. It's mm-hmm. called boxing. Floyd displaying boxing talent. He's displaying boxing skills anytime mm-hmm. he fights. You know, just because he's not getting in there, coming out with two black eyes and and all bloody every fight. You know, people <clears throat> people don't they don't they don't respect that. 
But like I said, they respect him when he's gone. Even he getting a lot of he getting a lot of heat online about the comment that he made to Stephen A. Smith. Now mm-hmm. I was in the car. I was in the car when they was doing that interview. And you know, like Floyd told him, it all started from a conversation with LeBron and Jordan. And Floyd said, it, it's, "It's not the wrong with Floyd saying he's the greatest." That's how he feel. There's nothing wrong with him saying that. There's nothing wrong with him. He take his hat off to Ali and them. He don't got nothing but respect to them, for them. Mm-hmm. But if, if he feels he's a better fighter than them, what's wrong with somebody saying that? He's not disrespecting those guys at all. It's okay for other people to say they're the greatest, but if he said it and that's how he feel, it's a problem. I just think people look at everything Floyd do with a microscope, man. I, I, I agree. I'd agree with that. I mean, think about it this way. As an athlete, if he's stepping in the ring, he can't walk in the ring and say, well, somebody else is better than me. He's supposed to believe you're the greatest, right? At all. You, you got to. I mean, because if you, you ask Tyson, and they asked Tyson when he was doing it, he, you know, he stepped in the ring and he thought he was God. He, he was the greatest to ever do it. Exactly. I and mean, you, you ask most guys, especially in a sport like boxing, you have to believe that. Or else, I mean, once you stop believing that, you, you might as well get out the game, right? You know, they. I, I just think, man, it's a, people let a lot of times people let they they jealousy and they envy towards a person cloud their judgment, especially with this Pacquiao fight. You know, a lot of people think Floyd gonna lose. They're not thinking about the the boxing part of it. They just want the hater in them. Just want them to lose, right? Because they're hating on the lifestyle. They're hating how his he, his attitude is they they don't they don't like him personally, so they want to move. Mm-hmm. But if you take all that out of the situation and you just put the two talents in there and tell a person to make their they judgment, it's no way this guy could be Floyd. Mm-hmm. If you if you basing it off of talent, mm-hmm. but you 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 know people let they they dislike for Floyd cloud their judgment, man. But like I said, they gonna miss him when he gone from the sport. Oh, yeah. I mean, because he's been, he, like you said, he's carried boxing for so long. Every Floyd Mayweather fight is the fight of the year. Exactly. I mean, if you take Floyd out of boxing right now, if you take this Pacquiao fight off the table right now, mm-hmm. what, what big fight can you tell me? See, that's a rough one. I mean, they have some, some up-and-coming boxers, like you said, and, I mean, Bronner's one of the names that they're going to try. What big fight can promote, you tell me, but... Right now, that would do good in pay-per-view, that I had a whole world talking right now. If you take Floyd out of boxing. I can't name one. Floyd could get in the ring with you. Floyd could get in the ring with you, and Mm it would be a big event. You're right. You are very right. I agree with that 100%. (laughs) Because everybody wants to see what he's going to do. He has has built himself up like that. He has that sort of name and that sort of power in the sport. I mean, if he wanted to pick up and do another sport, I think he'd have that same sort of effect on that. Yeah, some some people just got it. Some people are, are just just got it, man. And he he worked hard to get where he at, man. So when I hear people like like Freddie Roach <clears throat> did an interview the other day, they asked him, "What is it about Floyd?" He said, "Oh, I don't like his lifestyle. I don't like the cars and all the women." If that's how that man chose to live his life, that's how he chose to live his life. It's his life. Mm-hmm. People ask me all the time, you know, because I've been there when it was just me and Floyd. And people ask me all the time, you know, how you feel about all these people who are around Floyd and this and that. They call them the entourage, the, the hang-ons, the tag-alongs, whatever, all of the, the, the disrespectful s*** they, they can say. They talk mm-hmm. about, about our team. They say about our team. But I tell people, man, why would I feel a certain way about Floyd having people around him who he's comfortable with and who he wants around him. That's his life. Mm -hmm. And if if they take the time, instead of hating, if they take the time to to meet some of these people, you'll realize Floyd got a lot of good people around him, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if if Floyd was dead broke and had all these people around him, wouldn't nobody give a f***. You know what I mean? Right. They wouldn't wouldn't talk about him. They'd just be considered his friends. But since he got money, you know, people look at it like, or they just around him for the money, which is not true, man. Mm-hmm. Which is not true. He got he got people, everybody around Floyd, man, in this close circle, love him, man. 
and he loved them. And everybody around him got a position that they play. Everybody wants the best for him, man. I just, I just, I don't think that he get the credit he deserved, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm-hmm. think he get the credit that he deserved, man. You know how many jobs this man putting in the city of Las Vegas just on this week alone and this event alone? You know how many people, families he's feeding off of this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, people, you know don't, money people don't look at it that like that. Yeah. They don't, man. I see, I see the other side of the it. You mm-hmm. know, my, my wife is a teacher, man. You know, and this is the type of stuff that don't get that don't get pressed. Floyd donates money to my wife's school to keep the school afloat. It's a school, it's a charter school in the hood in Las Vegas, and Floyd donate money for that, but he don't want press for that. You know, every mm-hmm. year Floyd getting out feeding the homeless. He don't want the press for that. You know, he not just giving somebody a check saying go feed the homeless. He actually making lunches going out there, passing them out to the homeless guy. Thanksgiving, same thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. These things people don't see, man. No, I mean, it's just that he's been on the top for so long now, everybody just wants to see him lose. And they, they I guess they choose to, to look at all the different, the lifestyle and other things as a reason to, to somewhat demonize him, to give them more of a reason to, 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 I guess, call for him to lose and don't want. And since he's not asking for the press for all the nice things, and even if he did, I'm sure there'd be people that would poke a hole in that, saying, oh, he's just doing this for the good publicity and stuff like that and not see the positives. Exactly. You a smart dude, man. <laughs> you a smart dude, yeah. man, for real, man. And look, look, I know Floyd not going to lose. I know he's not going to lose at all. I don't have no doubt in my mind that he's going to win. I know he's going to win. But just say, God forbid, but just say something happened like that. The first thing people are going to say, oh, I told you he wasn't all that. My 20 years later. You understand what I'm saying? So he, he damned if he do and he damned if he don't, man. If he wins, I mean, when he wins, they're going to say, oh, he waited too long. You see it coming already, Every all these different interviews. Oh, he waited, it's, it's five years, it's not going to be the same. So, you know, they're preparing for it. When Floyd get in there and outclass this boy, man, then everybody going to say he waited too long. Pacquiao not the same fighter he was five years ago. Yep. And then if he loses, they'll say how great Pacquiao was and Floyd's fastest prime and everything else. It's just like you said, he damned if he do, he damned if he don't. But he still got to go in there and handle business. Come on, this man got knocked out cold, flat on his face, man. This man got knocked out cold, flat on his face, and they still talking about how great he is. I don't get it, man. But just like Ali, they hated Ali, man. But as soon as Ali left the game, everybody loved him. Right. Nobody understands how, especially with athletes, and from especially in boxing, you don't realize how valuable the top boxers are to the sport until most of them hang up the gloves, and then there's this giant void that they're left trying to fill. Exactly. UFC, UFC blew up big as hell, man. Floyd carried boxing on his back during all that time, kept boxing mm-hmm. alive. You know, this should this, this show you, this should show anybody who's a, who's a boxing fan how, how big and how important Floyd is to boxing. Floyd left HBO and went to Showtime. Every fighter went to Showtime. Mm-hmm. One because one person went to Showtime, everybody followed his lead. So that should that should say something. Yep. HBO took the HBO a, a bigger network than Showtime, but they took the back seat because of Floyd going to Showtime. What's the last yep. big fight you heard Don King promote? <laughs> can't tell me. What's the I last can't. big fight you heard you heard Bob Aaron promote? You can't tell me, but you can tell me a bunch of uh, fights Floyd doing. Oh, yeah, his, his, like, like you said, his promotion team has, I mean, pretty much taken over. They are the promotion team right now. And the only reason I'm saying all this, man, because I think it's time for the man to finally start getting his credit, man. That's the only reason I'm saying all this, man. It's time for him to start getting credit that he deserves within this sport of boxing, man. You know, it's always, oh, Floyd's a, a great fighter, but it's always a but at the end of it, man. And I don't mm-hmm. think that's fair, man. You know, the, the, the way the man chooses to live his lifestyle, he works hard for his money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give a f- if he just put it all in one big pile and burned it. He worked hard for his money. He can do what he mm-hmm. wants to do with his money. If he want to have five, six girls around him, if they're not complaining and he's not complaining, why, why should somebody else be mad about that? If he want to have 20 cars in the, in the driveway, 
Why should that make somebody mad? It shouldn't because it's not their money to spend. <laughs> exactly, man. And if, if if a person really get to know Floyd, man, Floyd is 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 a good dude, man. He a real good dude, and he, he hasn't changed, man. Money hasn't changed him. Floyd been the way he is, man. He I can remember riding in a car in in '97 and Floyd having a couple fights, man, four or five fights, and him telling me, Mac, I'm gonna make over 100 million in boxing. I'm looking at him like he's crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at him like S- ain't one. But he's telling me, Mac, I, I can, I'm going to make over 100 million in this boxing. S-. And you know, back then, 97, 98, De La Hoya was the, how, how Floyd is right now. Yeah. And I remember him telling me, Mac, I'm going to beat De La Hoya. That's like a kid right now with five fights telling you, I'm going to make over 100 million in boxing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to beat Floyd. You know, he had a vision, man. He seen it. He knew what he he seen it, man. He knew he was gonna be big like this, man. He knew he was gonna be big like this and can't nobody tell me different because I actually witnessed I witnessed him tell me, Mac, I'm gonna make over a hundred million in this. Wow. And, and May second, his hand's gonna be raised in that ring. His hand's gonna be raised, man. Now I'm not taking nothing I'm not taking nothing from Pacquiao. You know, I'm not I'm not taking nothing away from as a as a fighter because he he paid his he paid his dues also, but it's it's a, it's a big difference in the talent. You know what I mean? It's a big difference in the talent. Like he said, right. man. Like he said, <clears throat> it's already a way to beat him. It's already a way to beat Pacquiao. It's a couple mm-hmm. ways to beat him. Can't say that about Floyd, man. No, you with him he 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 can follow a pattern and you've seen how to do it. With Floyd, he, he's trying to chart a new ground and figure it out. There you go. Exactly. Because <laughs> it's never been done. And like you said, 20 years of it never happening before. I mean, that's – Pat can't say that. <laughs> nah, and, and the man sat there and fought everybody who they put in front of him, man. Right after he, right after he won the title in, in 98, his next fight was against Angel Man Freddie, who they were calling at the time – the truth. Mm-hmm. Boy went in there and stopped him in two rounds. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to fight Shane Mosley back then, but Shane Mosley, a lot of people don't know this. Back then in the 90s, Shane Mosley asked $10 million to fight for it. So if, that ain't, if that's not letting you know he don't really want to fight him, I don't know what mm-hmm. it is. They wasn't getting that kind of money back then. But you asking for that kind of money, you basically saying that you don't want to fight him. That's what you're saying. My bad, man. I'm I'm going off, man. But it's just you know, a, a, a lot of times, man, it just it get to a point to where it's like, man, come on, man. Oh no, it's, it's fine. I, like you said, I mean, all you're making points about you know the way people look at him, just because of the way he chooses to live his life and what he chooses to do with his money that he's made. I mean, you know, and and he's done it fighting, doing things that most people couldn't do. And then he's choosing to spend it a certain way or have certain people around him, and people are choosing to, to view him in a light because of the way he chooses to, to live his life. But, I mean, it's not like well, he's not the only person that, that has come up and decided to, to do these type of things. He's just in the limelight for it. And it, people don't choose not – I mean, especially I, I think this is, is with our people, especially people choose to see them in that kind of light and try and pull them down as much as they can instead of building people up. Exactly. That, that's that crab in the bucket mentality. Mm-hmm. You know, people talk about, oh, Floyd walk around with, with five and six girls. Uh, he have all these cars. Hugh Hefner have been doing that for years, and, and they praise him, and they love him. They break their neck to go to one of his parties, and he's been doing the yep. same thing for years. Yep. What's the difference? There is none. What's there, the difference? Hugh Hefner got a big... He definitely got a big house. He got a house in the back where, where he keep his girls. He call them the bunnies. But every everybody praised him for that. This mm-hmm. man had a TV show with, with four different girlfriends. Everybody loved him. But Floyd do it as a problem. And people don't even know a lot of these girls they see on TV with us is family and friends. Huh. But just because they're pretty and they're around, they got to say Floyd messing with them. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So people people pass judgment and 
and make come up with their own assumptions in their head about what's going on and not even know. You know, it could be five women on TV laying next to Florida, sitting next to them, not knowing this is family. Well, yeah, no. and that, it, it just goes people, you know, judging things that they, they don't know anything about. At all. It's crazy, man. It's just a big ass, this is a big event, man. Yeah, I, I know they what they had the 500 tickets that went on sale yesterday afternoon. Some of them were going up to like eight grand a pop. Yeah, they showed. They, I seen some where they said the tickets sold out in 30 seconds. That's I do not doubt event, that man. at all. And it's gonna be. They going One thing I can say, and remember, I told you this: the world about to see how good Floyd Mayweather really is. The world about to see it. He gonna outclass this dude, man. He's going to outclass this dude. Not taking nothing away from Pacquiao, man, because he a, he a hell of a fighter, man. But he just not no Floyd, man. You know, it was, a lot of, it was a lot of guys on the court with Jordan that were great players, man, but they just wasn't no Michael Jordan. And people don't realize, I guess, how much talent Floyd really has compared yeah. to, you know, along with the work ethic, that, I and mean, that's what allowed him to build it's his boxing dynasty. Come on, man. This man, 38 years old, man. Still putting it down. He fought a youngster, Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is a monster, man. He's a beast. He's a hell of a fighter, man. And, and Floyd outclassed him. It's yeah, not that these did. dudes can't fight. It's not that they can't fight because these dudes can fight. They good fighters, man. It just some people just touch, man. Some people just blessed with with great talent, man. Like Adrian Broner, man. He he's a good talent. Now some of the things he chose to do as far as his training probably didn't when he when he lost that fight but even then he got right back up some guys just just a good good talented guys man you know what i mean floyd don't drink he don't i never seen floyd drink i never seen floyd smoke i never seen floyd do no drugs he take care of his body man he don't get abused in the sport and i think that's why he's able to be on top the way he is for so long right he, he, that's important understanding how to take care of your body and what you're putting in your body when that's, I guess, what you're using to, to, to be on top. You have to understand that the, the little things do make a difference. Exactly, man. Even when we was young, man, Florida, lead, we'd lead a club, and Florida put his running shit on in the club parking lot and take off running. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? He put the work in, man. He deserved everything he got, man. Definitely. He deserved everything yeah. he got, man. And I just think... This this big event that's happening May second is just it just shows, you know, he put the work in to get where he at, man. Nothing was handed to him, nothing was given to him. And he really made a way, man. He really made a way and he helping a lot of people. He feeding a lot of people with off of this one event, man. A lot of jobs being created off this one event. They don't talk about that. A lot of jobs in Las Vegas being created off this one event. A lot of people mm-hmm. all around the world working overtime, getting paid extra for this one event. Some of the same people who hate them don't even understand that, though. You know, some of the some of the people who work and who hate them don't even understand. you getting paid. You got hired right now because of this man. you making money right now because of this man. I just always, I can never hate a person I don't even know. Now, you not being a fan or you thinking he'll lose, then that's understandable. Everybody got an opinion. I'm not saying everybody needs to, say Floyd going to win. No, everybody got an opinion, which is cool. Everybody don't have to like him, but just to hate him. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's, that's something I would never understand. Yeah, being able to hate someone you've never met, had a conversation with, interacted with at all, just based on what you think you know about them from the media or from what you've seen online, things like that, that that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, man. Now, not liking them as a boxer or – Things like that. That's that's understandable. We all got opinions, man. And mm-hmm. it ain't nobody's job to try to make somebody's opinion theirs. You know what I mean? Or just to hate a person, I, I would never understand that, man. Yeah. No. Well, all right, Mac. Uh, thanks for taking a couple of minutes to talk with us. We really appreciate it. It's all love, man. It's all good, man. I appreciate the call.